Welcome to this video where we're going to take a look, a more in-depth look at using map services in ArcGIS for AutoCAD 300. I'm going to start out in this empty drawing by connecting to a map service from Esri Maps. And I'll notice that when I use an empty drawing and I connect to a service, the coordinate system is set by the service. Um, I'm going to go ahead and reach out and grab another map service and I'm going to point out that whenever a map service is added to the drawing, it gets added to the back of the drawing stack. And so initially, I, even though this map service is in the drawing, I don't see it because the top map is obscuring it. So if I turn off the visibility of the top map from the TOC here, I see the, back, the other map behind it. So if I want to see that map, I could um, change the drawing order and send the top the top map to the back of the stack but what I really want to do is I want to change the transparency of the individual map service so that I can see a composite of the two stacked up together. Another thing I want to point out is by default the map services have a dynamic drawing behavior um, so that when I change the view scale significantly um, the, the maps in the stack that are dynamic will um, be redrawn at the appropriate scale. I can zoom out to the extents of the map and I see that I get requests for new maps. I'm going to go ahead and use a locator service to uh, zoom into an area here in Europe and um, to Prague. And I will take a look at the different candidates that the locator found and zoom specifically to this one. The other thing I wanted to, you to notice is that the new map services in ArcGIS for AutoCAD 300 are asynchronous. So as I continue to work and change my view scale, different requests are sent out to the server for new versions of the map. And they will come in whenever they come back from the server. So I can continue to work and it doesn't slow me down. I can just um, you know, keep adding things or moving around and the maps will come in whenever they're appropriate. Here I've set the dynam that dynamic behavior off. And so if I'm panning and zooming around and I don't want to be distracted by the maps coming in and out, I never have to wait for them, but if I don't want them to, to keep displaying or making requests, I can um, use the refresh button to get a new map when, you know, when I want one. So in this way, these two map services have been have been set from their dynamic behavior to an on-demand behavior. So I can press the the refresh button, you know, change my my um, scale, and then request the maps one by one. And so, zooming around, and then just um, using the refresh button that works on the current map. So. Because these different map services that I've added have global coverage, I can zoom to a completely different part of the world, and um, I'll see the appropriate imagery and maps for that region. So I've zoomed over here. I'm going to zoom over here to California, and then zoom in. And so the current coordinate system is a, a lat long type of projection. So here I'm using the table of contents to refresh both of the maps at the same time. So by accessing the refresh maps button here, um, it refreshes both of the maps simultaneously with a single button. The next thing I'm going to show you is the projection on the fly um, capabilities. So I'm going to go ahead and change the coordinate system of this drawing to be state plane. So I'm using moving from this coordinate system that I inherited from the map service and changing it to state plane. Once I do that, now I'm really off the map. Um, I'm no longer in a coordinate system appropriate for California um, in state plane. So I'm going to go ahead and re-access the locator and because my coordinate system has been defined as state plane, I'm going to be going to a different part of this AutoCAD drawing that has the appropriate coordinates for this location in state plane. And I'll see that the map services likewise are going to reflect um, the appropriate location. So um, I can, um, if I've, you know, I've failed to set my coordinate system correctly, I can do that even while there's map services in the drawing. So. Um, here I see now I'm located appropriately in a in 
the correct coordinate systems. I'm going to go ahead and turn the dynamic behavior of the map services back on. So now whenever I pan or zoom, um, I'll get um, coverage for the appropriate scale without having to ask for it. I'm going to connect to a server locally here of some water system information and set its transparency um, from, from the beginning. So um, I've gone ahead and added this map service to my drawing. And I want to modify the display stack again because I want mine to, my new map service to be on the top of the map services. And so now I see it more prominently displayed here on the top by sending the other two maps to the background. Another thing I want to highlight is that I can control the individual layers in a map service. So here I see the different feature layers. I'm turning off some of those, the service lines, and I'll turn off the hydrants here. And I can see that um, the map service um, reflects the changes of the different layers that I can turn on and off independently. I can also, um, when the capabilities for query are enabled on a map service, actually get the record information for features being maintained in the geodatabase. So I can go ahead and then, for example, cut and paste this record set here into Excel, create a report. Um, and this is all with just the map service. We really don't have any vectors in this drawing at this time, but I can still query the features in the map service. Now, this map service, if I um, zoom to the extent of the map service, I see it, it just has coverage for this um, local Riverside area. If I want to limit the scope of a map service to be just a specific working region, I can use the set um, map service limit from the current view. And then when I zoom to the extents of the map service, you know, it just stays where it was. So if I zoom out and I want to zoom to the extents of the map service that I've limited, I hit the extents and I go back to that view that I had. So if I zoom way in and I want to go all the way out to the extents of the map, it doesn't go all the way back out to the full Riverside area. It just goes back out to the, the limit that I set for my project area. So I can, can, I can set the maximum size of a map service. Um, with that tool. Now I'm going to show you how to find map services information on ArcGIS.com. I've logged into my account here on ArcGIS.com and I'm going to search for soils information. And specifically what I'm looking for are maps and I'm looking for map services. So these are the actual layers that I could add in ArcGIS for AutoCAD. So some of these are composite maps that may contain multiple layers, but by limiting my search just to map services, I can get just the individual layers that I want to add to my ArcGIS for AutoCAD session. And so what I'm looking for in the details section is this URL right here, up into the services section. So this is the information that I need to make a connection to the server. So um, even though um, I didn't know where this server was, I can use ArcGIS.com um, explore for content and then paste this URL into my server connection dialog box. That server name doesn't mean anything to me so I'll make it more meaningful by changing it to soils and then um, access it. And so I can tell by the connection here that there's much more information on this server than just that one map service but this is the one for the composite soils that I'm interested in and um, I can see it has all different kinds of query capability and that's great. I'm going to go ahead and add that service to my drawing, but I'm going to limit it just to the current view. And then when I add that, again, it goes to the back of the stack. And one of the things I wanted to point out about, um, you know, basically just map services in general is after I reorganize the stack here, um, I noticed that the, the map service is essentially blank. Um, and that's because I'm either potentially zoomed out too far, or in this case, I'm zoomed in too far, and the map service um, doesn't handle maps that are zoomed in this far. Um, so let me turn off these other two layers just to kind of highlight this. When I zoom out, you see now I see the map. Uh, and one of the things I can do is if I know that um, you know I'm going to be working on a, a scale that's zoomed in farther, I can disconnect the map service altogether in which case now I've got an AutoCAD raster image in my drawing. So I can take any map service and disconnect it. And it's going to um, make it so it's 
neither dynamic nor even connected to a server at all. I can store this and save it actually inside the AutoCAD drawing. So one of the one of the things I can do is disconnect a, a map service altogether and create just a plain AutoCAD raster image. Okay. Um, well, that's enough for map services right now. Um, stay tuned for other um, video casts of different aspects of ArcGIS for AutoCAD. Thanks for listening. Bye.